Understanding the Great Divide, a phrase explored. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, the Great Divide. This term carries a rich tapestry of meanings and uses in the English language. Whether you're a language enthusiast or just curious about English phrases, this video will illuminate the various contexts in which the Great Divide is used. So, let's get started. The Great Divide originally refers to a significant geographical feature, a major mountain range, particularly in North America, that separates river systems flowing into opposite sides of a continent. This divide can be seen as a natural boundary, often influencing climate, ecology, and even human activities. Understanding this literal meaning is crucial as it lays the foundation for the metaphorical uses of the phrase. Beyond its geographical sense, the Great Divide is widely used metaphorically. It describes a significant difference or separation between people, opinions, or conditions. For example, when discussing social issues, one might say, the debate on this topic represents a great divide in public opinion. This metaphorical use highlights the depth and breadth of the divide, suggesting it's not easily bridged. In literature and media, the Great Divide often symbolizes a profound and sometimes insurmountable gap. It can represent emotional distance, ideological differences, or social disparities. Authors and creators use this phrase to convey a sense of deep division that impacts characters, societies, or narratives. This artistic use helps deepen the understanding of conflicts or themes within a story. Let's look at some examples. 1. Geographical. The Rocky Mountains are often considered a part of the Great Divide in North America. 2. Social. The digital divide is the modern world's Great Divide, separating those with internet access from those without. 3. Literary. In the novel, the river symbolizes the Great Divide between the protagonist's past and future. Try creating your sentences using the Great Divide in different contexts. Thank you for joining us in exploring the Great Divide. We hope this video has illuminated the various shades of meaning this phrase holds. Remember, language is not just about words but the ideas and concepts they represent. Keep exploring and see you in our next video.